Hi, my name is Chris Bosley. Uh, it's uh, the 2nd of July, 2017, so I wanted to share some more attacks that the Anglicans are doing. Um, it has to do with file corruption. Uh, they connect to my system and then change file names. They corrupt the file names. So, um, I'll just show you this here. Um, so the file here I'm looking at is um, 0509, this one here. And uh, it says it was created on March. Oh, pardon me, April, May. And when I open it up, um, the date um, thing that I have at the beginning says it was created um, April 9th, Sunday, April 9th. The time is the same, 2010. But uh, it says April 9th instead of um, May. So this little trick that Anglicans do all the time, the purpose of it is to corrupt and to incriminate um, me uh, to, uh, you know, give um, doubt to the, uh, whether my data or whether my statements are accurate. Um, now, I normally wouldn't look at this because I would just upload the video, um, but... I would trust that then the the name or the time is is correct because I never uh, vary the times and I try to keep them um, uncorrupted and not play with them so that I don't accidentally wreck them or break them. If you look at the um, you know change them, corrupt them, make them incorrect. If you look at the time that it says it says it was um, modified on the 27th, and the reason for that is because I renamed it um, Anglican Church Government Raping. Anesthetizing, anesthetizing, oh, that's a tongue twister, society. So anyways, um, you may ask yourself, well, how do we know they, uh, um, you know, mess with your system? Well, here's an example. Um, um, here is an example that I will show you about a folder creation. So here, what they do is they want to, uh, they often take screenshots and they make doubles and then they pull them to their system. I think they have a system set up nearby and it automatically um, monitors for my device activity and then it's scripted to connect to it. And uh, then when it connects to it, it uh, any screenshots I take, they're pulled. Any data that I change or files that I change or like for example, I used to edit uh, YouTube uh, text um, that I have for notes on my YouTubes that would they would pull because it would give them information about the YouTube videos so anything that would be information for them um, they monitor and they pull because I'm trying to um, make public the crimes that they've been committing uh, there's been a uh, computer crimes so here is an example uh, this folder in the very top 2017 0426 matches the file that was created by the program AZ screen recorder now, AZ screen recorder does not normally do this however what this file is, this folder is it contains a PNG and the PNG is a PNG taken from that video and it just happened here so what happened was I think they synchronized to my system and when my system um, something got glitched and this folder is supposed to go on there system but it showed up on my system and what they're doing now is they're using me to make a really clean uh, method of, of attack they're they're using my observations and then fixing their attacks and making them better making them harder to see making them more invisible so that other people will not notice these things now I don't see this folder anymore um, but, for example, there are other uh, evidences of their activities. As soon as I made this video and showed that I saw this, as soon as that I started talking about it actually in my unit, it stopped. The moment I mentioned this um, folder showing up in a video, speaking verbally in my unit here, in my bedroom, um, uh, they pulled it and they changed it and they stopped and um, uh, it felt like they pulled out of the phone because the phone sped up and it wasn't so hot anymore. and um, then they fixed it and you know I haven't seen this since so here's another example um, here's my phone storage and then I'll go into AZ now look at this um, dthumbs okay dthumb is the folder for Windows now I haven't I don't have a Windows program for this phone and I haven't connected this phone to anything I haven't even used this phone today but when was this dthumbs created well July 2nd I haven't used this phone today 
except for once I went out and um, maybe for a couple minutes. But here's this dethumbed folder. So someone has connected to this phone remotely with a Windows machine because Windows machines create that. This phone doesn't create dethumbs. The Windows phone creates dethumbs. I never created that folder. Um, and I never did anything to create that folder. That, that folder was created today, and I haven't used the phone today. I certainly haven't connected it to anything because this phone is not rooted, and this phone does not have um, USB debug uh, enabled on it. So how in the world could that um, uh, dethumb folder be created? Let's go look in here. I don't have um, debugging enabled in developer options. I have developer options on, but I don't have allow the bootloader to be unlocked. It's not unlocked. I'm not rooted. Um, select debug app. I'm not. I'm not debugging. Verify apps over. I'm not debugging anything. This shouldn't be de debugging anything right now. There. There should be no. Um, I haven't enabled debugging uh, with USB. So I don't know why in the disable USB audio routing strict. Um, so I don't know why uh, that was created. Why that uh, folder was created. That's a remote access to my phone. USB debugging, see? It's not on. So um, somebody is remote connecting to this phone, and I'm in airplane mode. I have been in airplane mode all day, except for when I turned my phone on just now. I um, wanted to show you the date by going to uh, date and time, but I have no Wi-Fi on and my Bluetooth is off. So, and, and I always have my Bluetooth off, and I always have my Wi-Fi off. So this is an example of what the Anglicans do when, they're, when they want to access the phone. They access my phone constantly, and the connection is immediate. It's immediate um, connection. Whenever I turn my phone on, they connect immediately to it. If I take screenshots, they um, copy them over to their phone. I made another video about screenshots that I had made, and uh, they add a, su a, pre a suffix, I see at 1CS onto the end of the screenshot. And it's very, very um, overt and very, very obvious. And my phone doesn't name um, screenshots like that. So all these little things they're doing just shows that they're accessing the phone. Now, they always say, my neighbor next door here, let's call him Snarker. Um, um, he uh, is going to graduate pretty soon, and then he'll move on. But he was involved in all this. He was supporting the guy who lived here previously, and he was like, um, you know, uh, defending him and um, supporting him, moral support and um, brotherly Christian support. But the guy next to me was, uh, there's lots of evidence pointing to the fact that he was committing uh, computer crimes and he was training in uh, computer attacks. Uh, he's an advanced uh, mathematician with a, an interest in cryptography. He did an honors degree in, in hit the subject of his honors paper was cryptography, partially, a partial partial piece of his paper was cryptography and um, he graduated with honors uh, with an honors math degree from Adelaide University and uh, since day one I, there was evidence that he was uh, connecting to our computers and not just him but a whole group of people like him advanced technology technology people now that graduated from here and he's an engineer in telecommunications and uh, um, radio telecommunications I think as well you know, with an interest in radio transmissions so I mean all these people work together in this church in this group in this um, institution uh, and I think that they uh, use their knowledge and use their abilities to um, crack and, and hack uh, crack because they don't deserve the title of hack they crack they're cheaters they crack and they use hidden back doors I believe they use there's evidence not believe there's evidence and I know for a fact I have no doubt in my mind that they use back doors because I, um, many times I've said in many videos, I removed the wireless and Bluetooth cards on my computers and they were still accessing. So here, when the, when I showed you the file name, that's an example of how, how they caused doubt. Um, now, if I upload the video and then someone watches that video, they'll they'll question themselves in their head. Well, why is, why is he, why did he say he created the video in, this, in um, May when he made it in April? And they do that all the time. Uh, I had another phone, a Nokia 1520, and before they wiped it out remotely to a blue screen with a sad face, they did that. Um, they um, uh, were modifying all, every single um, picture I took, every single video I took was modified, and the date name was modified. I made another video about that. It was incorrect, and randomly incorrect. Um, so, like, what I mean is if I took it at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 
one minute, one, uh, it would be 5.10, 4.15, 4.02, but it would never be the right time. And so this is how they uh, create, um, uh, it, uh, protect themselves and um, make their target, the person who's um, confronting them with the crimes that they're committing, they, may, they try to make them look like idiots and then they laugh, nah, all right, mate. Come on, mate. Come on. How are you, you going to prove that, mate? Even the guy next door, I was going to say um, a few minutes ago, I got sidetracked. The guy next door was friends with him uh, and supported him and um, protected him, provided moral support, and um, um, escorted him to and from his unit every day. Walked him to and from his unit. When, I, when he left, he was there to escort him out. And when he came back, he was there to escort him to his door. And he had escorts all the time. He was never alone. There was always somebody protecting him. He's a dirtbag, scumbag, little rat. Even ran like a little rat. Now he's in front of a church. He graduated and now he's in front of a church talking about how, you know, whatever. Any crap that he can talk about, I guess. False. Everything's false. If I if I were you and I went to his church, games foolfully, and if you're, you're a new preacher that just graduated from MTC, more theological college, looks like a little rat. Well... I think I would just pack my crap up and go back home because he's a douchebag liar. So um, uh, this guy next door stood up for him all the time, and just recently he said, "Well, it's pretty hard to, pretty hard to, to prove who's attacking your phone, mate." And that's what um, that's exactly the their dogma. That's exactly their um, position. Uh, that's why they love computer crime because they can get away with anything they want. They can steal whatever they want. They can do whatever they want, and they can just say, "Well, prove it. Um, where's your evidence?" And they know that they're using back doors that don't um, show any evidence, like the IAMT attack. Only they're all their attacks are, are are similar to the IAMT, and they've been doing this for years and years and years. There's a backdoor into these programs. Lately, there's all this talk about the IAMT attack. Well, Patrick Stewin from Berlin, Stewin, S-T-E-W-I-N, was talking about the IAMT, IAMT attack a long time ago. And um, recently, there's this new thing. Recently on the Hacker, New the Hacker News com, they were talking about the IAMT attack malware that attacks phones and can circ uh, circumnavigate, go underneath the firewall. Well, that's exactly what they were doing to me, going underneath the firewall. But they weren't doing it on just Intel. They were doing it on AMD. They were doing it on I I Intel. They were doing it on po an old power PC Mac. And an old power PC Mac, which is interesting because um, uh, Google just hired an old um, engineer from uh, Apple, from Apple's old machines, to uh, do work on their new CPO for their new Pixel phone. So I wonder if they're going to add a new backdoor into their Pixel phone, something similar to what um, was in the Apple. I know there's a backdoor in the Apple because they were accessing my Apple and I removed the airport, I removed the modem, I removed the wireless, and I removed the Bluetooth. So these file changes that I just showed you at the beginning of this um, video um, are examples of how uh, the Anglicans try to cover their tracks and how they they make their target uh, appear um, wacky or um, uh, discredit. They try to discredit their target. And um, anybody who uh, says anything about them is a target and is fair game, much like the Scientologists. So I just wanted to show you that, and this happens every day. Every single day I'm finding uh, something. Yeah, I can't even keep up with it. I'm finding stuff, um, evidence of they're attacking the phone. I'm scared to root the phone because then they're going to say, well, you rooted, you rooted your phone. Could have been anybody. But I'm getting to the point where I think I'm going to probably have to do that because... I'm going to have to find, you know, direct proof that they're um, uh, changing IP tables or changing files. or I don't even know how I'm going to do that, but got to do something. The point is, is that it's very, very difficult because it's a very fast um, evolving group. The people um, attacks, the group are very, um, they have access to extremely um, privy information and they work together. A whole group of people work together. And so they modify their attacks very quickly. Boom, 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 boom. And if you figure out something that they're doing, boom, boom, within less than a day, it's fixed and they're back in your machine again. So, and plus they have third party guys that do their dirty deeds so that they, they can take the heat and say, well, it could have been anybody, could have been those people back there. Even one of the Anglican students, lots, several of the Anglican students have told me that, well, could have been those people in the building back there. How do you know it was us? And that's the, that's what they do. That's what they always say. How do you know it's us? How do you know it's us? Well, they're making a lot of money off of this. 
and they're making a lot of money going into people's computers. And not only that, they gain social advantage too. If they're in a debate, if they're in a debate like on the metadata debate, and uh, they 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 know what you're going to say because they've they've gotten your your speech from you. They've gone in your computer and gotten your speech from you. They know exactly what you're going to say. They know exactly what you're going to do. They know your platform before you even get to the debate. And this is how they win their positions in politics. This is why they have that, the Anglican, this is why they have that bullshit Anglican like Rufus Black. Because they're arrogant. Because they know. Because they're in your computers. And they know your stuff before you put it out. So, um, and I know because they've been doing it to me since 2013. They, um... Uh, have accessed all of our machines, and I remove the wireless and Bluetooth cards. And, and I know that they access the machines because they changed things on the system. They accessed files, they deleted files, and uh, they made uh, my USB external USB drives uh, read only. One minute I could read to them, the next minute I couldn't. And then as soon as I couldn't read to them any write to them anymore, one minute I could write to them, the next minute I couldn't. They made the, they changed the NTFS file attribute from read write to read only, so I could not write to the USBs. So I could not take DD um, images of the drive uh, for forensic evidence. And then I heard uh, people next door in Games Full Flea's unit uh, that everybody supported and protected. Uh, little baby games, little baby Full Flea. Um, now standing up in front of his church congregation, preaching like a, preaching like he's uh bat out of hell on his way to heaven. Anyways, um, yeah, um, I heard him and his friends laughing in his unit the minute uh, my discs were screwed up and I couldn't write to them. So uh, this has been going on for a long time. That is the these few things I showed you with the evidence and uh on the um, the the folder name the D thumb drive uh a thumb folder. That should not have been there. The D thumb is when um, the um, a Windows program accesses a file system, a Windows machine accesses a file system and looks at the images in that file system, creates a, a D thumb folder. That's a Windows application. This folder, this computer should not be connecting to a Windows um, machine. So that means that either somebody broke into my house today when I went out to get groceries uh, while my wife was downstairs having an app or whatever and I got to the phone which was locked up or somebody's accessing it remotely and either one are, are possible because they're they come into the unit all the time whenever they had a chance to come into the unit they come they break in and um, they also break into the phone whenever they every single time I turn it on they're in the phone so um, I don't know uh, I hope that people start going into this because these people are really dangerous and not only are they dangerous but they're powerful they're financially power and they're powerful and they're politically powerful and they're all they're using these attacks that they're doing to get more powerful to hurt people to damage people to cause people problems and to harass people to ruin people's lives they can use this te these technologies to ruin people's lives so in a technological world you um, how do you terrorize? You're a technological terrorist, and that's the worst kind, because everybody uses technology, and everybody relies on it. So if you want to destroy somebody's life, you just master technology, and that's exactly what these people are doing. And they've got ties to the Australian government, and they've, they've got ties all over the world. So pretty dangerous, and um, I hope something's done about it. So thanks for watching, and um, I hope this never happens to you.